Will you tell me why you're here? To tell you the truth, sir, I didn't expect you back so soon. Oh. Don't want to forget this. You have a real green thumb, sir. I what? This African violet of my wife. You know there's actually a flower growing out of there. Now, I don't know what you did, but whatever it was, that's a miracle. Lieutenant, it's been a trying evening, and I'm quite distressed. Now, will you please take your African violet and get out of here? Wait a minute. I hear something. That could be the man I'm waiting for. Grover? Grover, is that you? Lieutenant, I don't understand. I was halfway downtown with Mrs. Goodlin when we were ordered back here. I'm sorry, Sergeant. I didn't mean to run you around town like that. Mrs. Goodlin, how are you? You must be exhausted. Would you like to sit down? No, no, I'll stand. Thank you. Uh, let me get you a chair. You'll be more comfortable. I know you've been up all night. Well, I think there'll be plenty of time to rest in jail, don't you? Sergeant, has this lady actually been arrested? Well, I, uh, sir, I, I phoned my reporter to Captain Ritchie. He was quite complimentary. She'll be charged as soon as we... No, Sergeant. No. Mrs. Goodwin, you... Damn it, Colombo! What's this all about? Well, you see, sir, I'm waiting here for some things from headquarters, and if you'll all just bear with me for a moment... What sort of things? Lieutenant! Lieutenant Colombo! Oh. Oh. Here you are, Lieutenant. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excuse me for just a moment. Yes. I have some bullets here. This one is from the wrecked car, a 32 caliber, proven by ballistics to have been fired from the murder weapon. This one is from the body of the victim, also 32 caliber, and proven by ballistics to have been fired from the same weapon is the first bullet. We know all about that. Tell him, young man. Uh, both. Both of those came from the gun that was found in her house, and uh, Sergeant Grover said they confirmed it as the murder weapon. Right. That's quite right. Sergeant, I don't want you to feel badly, because without you, I'd never gotten this idea. I mean, those technical things that you're so good at. You see, I've never used the metal detector before. That's why it took me nearly an hour. But you know these things really work. Amazing. You see that? What is it? Third bullet. Also a 32 caliber, and also proven by ballistics to have been fired by the same weapon that fired the first two bullets. Mr. Goodwin, I just don't know how you're going to explain this. But why should I have to? That's right. That's right, sir. That's what I was doing over there a little while ago. I found this third bullet buried here in this pile of dirt. I guess it was one of those bullets that you fired at that guy who broke in here about a year ago. You said you only hit dirt. I don't know how you're going to explain, sir how the same gun that fired this bullet in the dirt ended up tonight in Mrs. Goodwin's dressing room. Sergeant, would you take Mr. Goodwin downtown, please? Mr. Jarvis Goodwin, it is my duty to inform you that anything you, you might, uh, this way, sir. allow me to drive you home? Thank you, Lieutenant. Oh, one moment. If I forget this, my wife will kill me.
just one more thing. <laughs>